Hello, um gonna be doing a tour of all my animals, uh, mainly my inverts, but I'll just show you my other ones. I do have two cocktails, but um they're downstairs and they're just cocktails so I'm not gonna show them. There's my leopard gecko, and um, that's Lilith. She's a Tremper Max now. Um had her for about year and a half, two years. Yeah, something like that. She's doing fine. Um, yeah, about a year and a half, two years, and she's doing perfectly fine. Really, she's not really fussed about out, out all the time. And yeah, that's her. The other one is my crested gecko called Castiel. He's in there. I had him for about two, two and a bit years. Yeah, because I got him marked. 2012 I think yeah something like that and finally um, out of these lot two tomato frogs you can see the both of there that's them that's um, Doug and Russell and they're false tomato frogs and I've had them since babies and I've had them for about a year and a half two years as well so yeah and then after that I started on the inverts so I'll be showing you them in a second. Alright, back in a sec. So that's my invert cupboard. Um, I just thought I'd mention first that I started in the invert hobby about two, yeah, about two years ago um, with a pair of um, hissing cockroaches. They've sadly died now, and an Empress Scorpion has sadly died now. Um, and then, about six months after that, I started with tarantulas, and since then I've been hooked. <laughs> um, we've got around 50 now ish in the year and a half being in the hobby because I started in January of 2013. So I've been in the hobby for about a year and a half. Um, I know more about my scorpion, well, my roaches to be fair. I know a lot about roaches. Because um, I started off with roaches and I've got my colony just in the bottom left hand corner that you'll see in a bit. And yeah, I started with that pretty much. And then I got my millipedes um, between, um, I think that was September of 2012. Two, yeah, because I've had this one about two years now. The other two sadly passed away, but this one's still going strong. So, yeah. Alright. That was just like a little introduction into what started me. Inverts, since I mentioned when I got all my other stuff. I did start out with an Empress Scorpion and some hissing cockroaches, then moved on to teas eventually. Alright. Back in a sec. So, these are my roaches. I had these about... year and three months they also to live about a year as adults so they're doing all right some of my babies are getting pretty good size the ones down there so it's birch ivy and aya that are left looking quite scraggy but <laughs> what do you expect they're really old and i think they're all females so yeah got a decent sized colony going on Obviously there's a lot more boots down there and there's fruit fly problem but I'm just not too fussed about that. Of course it doesn't seem to affect them too much. Um they do need feeding later tonight and watering but I'll do that later. So yeah, that's the first ones and main verts. I do have quite a few of these. These are Sorry about that, phone cut off. Um these are pet roaches, so not feeders. That's why you never see me using roaches. So yeah, pet roaches, they're peppered roaches, um, Arcadema, Tessie Rana, so if you put peppered roach, it's a universal common name. So yeah, we'll leave them be, and I'll show you the next one, back in a sec. This is my giant African millipede, called Gamma, the other two died, um, she is fine, I'll just give her a bit of a spray. Um, she is about 10 to 12 inch stretched out, absolutely huge, 
Um, she's a fan at the moment, because I checked her a minute ago. Um, but yeah, I've had her a year and nine months, something like that. So I've had her quite a while. And she's doing fine, the other two died of old age, because um, they're all wild caught adults. And she just seems to tank it on. So yeah, I'm going to leave her be and show you the next one. Back in a sec. So, um, I'll try and tempt it out. This is my unnamed, unsexed LP. If I had to guess, I would say it's um, male. I've just got a feeling. There we go. This one's always hungry. Absolutely always hungry. Very, very nice tarantula. Um, Lassiodora is one of my favourite genus, along with the Femictopus, Nandus, Campuscuria, and the Nemphis. They are my favourite genus. Um, so, yeah, uh, suspect male, but it's unsexed, so it could be female. I'm about 60, 40. With what I am um, with thinking it's a male, um, but yeah, unsexed, unnamed. Got it from the spider shop quite a while ago, um, I think late last year, and it's done perfectly fine in my care. I think it's mottled once, yeah, once or twice, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it does well, yeah, once, yeah, once because um, it were a bad eater. And it malted, and that's a good eater. So yeah, doing very well in my care, and good decent size. This is a large flat Exoterra, and it's a decent size. But yeah, doing very well, very good feeder, and I'll leave, leave it be, and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Lassie Dora Kluge. Um, I've had her, I think she's my second longest tarantula now. I think she falls just there, along my GBB and a couple of others. She wasn't actually my second, but with stuff passing away and males maturing out. Um, and she'll probably be my longest with Trancha, because she's actually my first female, technically. Because my B. Bomi is male, my Versicolor, male, B. Vagon has sadly passed away, but yeah. So technically she'll be my first female. And she's very nice. It's Lassiodora Kluge. Um, she's my biggest tarantula. And she's called Valkyrie. Um, I picked her up at Donnie's show for about £50 off a random breeder. And um, said she tried, tried to breed her and just ate the male. So, yeah. Um, she never gives me any trouble. I am going to feed her now because um, she's molted about two weeks ago and I haven't fed her since. So, I'm going to be feeding her. I'm going to give her two extra large locusts because they're not that big and we'll see if she's hungry. I'm also going to be feeding my new additions from the other week. Come on girl. Oh, she's definitely hungry. Chuck the other one. That's what I thought. Yeah, she'll use the hardened up now. And there's the other one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, she's absolutely huge. She's about eight, nine inches. She's not as big as I thought she was, but she's still a very, very good size. Um that's her setup. Same as the last year, the clue gets so she's got that hide instead of the loads of bark. And yeah, she's doing perfectly fine in my care. No trouble with her at all. I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my HPC male. Just lifted up his hide and he's a bit, um, well, not a bit, he's quite pissy. Um, he's not too bad. He's not really skittish. The female's quite skittish. Um, very good sized forest scorpion. 
uh, can't be far off the world's big species, which is the Swamadami. Um, he needs to put his hide down, but he's trying to be a bit awkward. Put your hide up now. I'll sort it out in a sec, he's been awkward. So yeah, um, HPTC male, and he's called Beast. Um, I was going to be reading these, but I just gave up on the idea. Um, because... Either they're two males or they just can't bother to breed. I've tried it a couple of times, filmed it a couple, so yeah, just gave up on the idea. And I just keep them as pets now and they're doing perfectly fine. Proper tanks. They're not the best eaters in the world, but they they do fine. Wild caught scorpions aren't the best feeders in the world anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it be and I'll show you the female. Back in a sec. This is the female, just had to get her out of her hide. Um she's not I'd say the male's bigger. I want to put the lid, get the lid ready. She likes to jump out. And last time she was out, um, she climbed halfway up my back. So she's not really vicious. She didn't go for me or anything. She just decided to sit on my back. I'm not a massive fan of handling scorpions, um, just because, especially these, they can do a lot of damage with their pincers, as they can just snap um, a pencil in half. I've seen a couple of people do this. Obviously, I'm not going to because it's don't see, I just don't see the point. Um, don't do anything for the animal, and yeah, don't want to damage their claws or anything. So yeah, that's her HPTC female, and she's called Harlot. Um, as I've mentioned, I did try breeding these, just didn't. So they're either both males or they just don't want to breed. All right, back in a sec. I'm just gonna film this little bit of footage before I actually take the tank out and show you her properly. Because you can, she always runs back into a hide. This is Phoenix, my Pamphobetes fortis, adult female. Um, I'm going to try and get her out without um, disturbing her, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, back in a sec. By the way, um, I got both of the scorpions from Bugs UK, the millipede from Bugs UK. Um, roaches were from Virginia Cheeseman, um, Crested Gecko were from uh, unnamed, I'm not telling pet shops, they're awful. Um, tomato frogs and the Lappy Gecko were from bug, uh, Blue Lizard Reptiles, um, which is the reptile shop I go to and I do advise them. So yeah, just thought I'd tell you them since I told you where I got my Lassidora Kluge from and my LP. So yeah, I'm going to try and get her out, but we shall see how it goes. Alright, back in a sec. This is a miracle. This is the most I've ever seen of her since um, I got her. Um, I got her from Tartan Tarantulas, which is staying here. Um, that's where I got most of my tarantulas from. And yeah, it's doing pretty well. I'll just um, show you that it's okay. She'll probably run straight into a hide. Oh, go for the tweezers! Shock. Actual shock. Um, so yeah, my immature male is starting to look a lot more like her. He's losing the highlights on his carapace. She's still got him a tiny bit, but not too much. Um, she's a very nice species. I'm not huge, huge on panthos. I personally prefer an emphis. But um, she's a very nice tarantula. Yeah, very good size. She's about... Seven eight inches, something about that. One of my bigger ones. I think she's my second biggest tarantula. And yeah, so she's Phoenix, my Pamphobetes fortis. And she's an adult female. All right, I'm gonna leave her be and move her to the next one. By the way, she needs misting. That's why she looks so dry. Um, but she's got a water bottle, so yeah, I'm just gonna mist her. And back in a sec. All right, people, back in a sec. This is Hades, my Smingerous um, Messinesis. Um, had this one absolutely ages, like a year and two months or something. No, year and four months. Picked him up from LD Exotics. Um, this, that's a reptile shop I go to sometimes. It's in Mansfield. They're a 
they're all right. Um, pretty decent one. Don't have the best selection of inverts, but they have a good selection of exotic pets. So yeah, um, I got him about a year now, about a month before I got my um, Bebomi. And just um, I did a care video on these. Um, these are the world's fastest scorpions, supposedly. He's just running at tiny bits of speed for now. That's why he's got an absolute huge tank compared to him. Because um, they do like to run and they are a decent species. Um, so he's just down there. Um, so I've had him that, I've got him quite a while. No problems at all. When I got him, it's when I didn't know much about scorpions. I rang them up, asked them what scorpions they had, and they said they had this. And it was a desert scorpion. I'm like, oh, but that desert area will be a good size. Um, he's molted once in my care, so um, when I got to him, he was absolutely tiny, absolutely tiny. He's not that big now compared to my other scorpions, but yeah, um, it's easily one of my favourite species of scorpion just because of speed. Um, he is awesome. He used to be a really good feeder, now not so much. Um, but yeah, I picked him up for about I think about twenty five quid, which is a bit expensive for this species because you can usually pick him up for about fifteen. But I didn't know much back then, and yeah, he's done really well in my care, um, no trouble at all, and he's one of my favourite species of scorpion. Alright, so I'm going to leave him be, and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is Smarty, my um, Cyclosternum Smarty, Smarty. Uh, that's, that's it. Um, I got her the other week, I'm going to be feeding her now. So it's my first feeding with her, let's see if she's hungry. She can't be in pre malt that's a bit obvious. Hungry? Nope. I'll take it out in a bit. Um, she does seem relatively fat, so yeah. I got this other week off. Um, his name spelled really weird, but um, he said just to call him Peter, I think. So I got it off of him. He was a random Facebook dealer. Um, she's captive bred, adult female. Um, one of my favourite species of tarantula. Um, she needs a blatantly obvious rehouse. But um, the tank that I've ordered for her is on order. So, but yeah, she's doing perfectly fine. Doesn't seem to do much. Got chilled out compared to my other cycle sternums. Mm, she's not too fussed. Take it out. Don't stress her out. But yeah, she's doing perfectly fine. Nothing up with her at all. Um, so I'm gonna leave her be. And move on to the next one. Alright, back in a sec. These are getting fed and watered later, just so you don't see me do it on camera. Um, these are Dib, Dab and Dob, uh, my Vietnamese rainbow millipedes. And the uh, Tonkin Bolus, the Foot Dole Fousey. Um, this is all three of them. I think they are adults now. Um, when I got them, they did malt once. And there was never out when they were in pre malt at all, dug to the bottom. Um, I had to clean out the substrates, so I dug them out and they literally laid on the top until they malted. And now they, they dig down, but they're out most nights. Very, very active millipede, really nice species. And um, do advise them to anyone. I think I've got two males and a female. Not too sure. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave these be and move on to the next one. And um, by the way, I got these for all. I got these as a present, but they was bought from the spider shop. All right, back in a sec. This is my Plopus species Columbia large um, female. Um, she's in suspect pre malt, hopefully, so I can malt. Uh, so when she hands up, I'll be able to mate her with my male. Fingers crossed that she's in pre malt. I know she hasn't malted yet. As you can see her abdomen. Just there. So yeah, she's doing perfectly fine. I got her the other week from 
um, an unnamed Facebook dealer, um, she doesn't want to be named, um, so I don't name him. Um, she's doing perfectly fine in my care, she doesn't need a rehouse, um, same as I see Smart A, but um, the tanks haven't come yet. So yeah, she'll be getting a rehouse soon, I can't really show you much more of her because she's down in the burrow and I don't really want to be disturbing her, but I can show you my male in a bit and she just looks like a fat version of him. So yeah, I hope her species Columbia Large, she's a confirmed female, but at the moment she has no name, I haven't named her yet. So yeah, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Vicularia species Pro Purple, um, unsexed at the moment, but um, I've got a feeling it's male, um, that's going on no, near nothing um, basis, but I've just got a feeling. So yeah, it's unnamed, um, I got it from Stainy and it's doing perfectly fine. Um, nice little juve, I'm having no trouble with it at all, um, eats regular. And it's really tame. Um, I've handled this once or twice. Um, really not fussed. It's quite shy at times, but as you can see, it does what it wants. It's not fussed. Yes. See, it's not bothered at the moment. Very nice little avic. Uh, would advise species brew purple. They're one of the more common avics around. Would advise them. It's look awesome. So yeah, gonna leave the little one be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Someone's been busy. You can see it down there. This is my Vicularia later. If I show you from the side, you can't see anything. She's the she's an adult female. Um so adult female Vicularia later. Um very nice species, one of my favourite um species. Um I do like my laters. Got a nice attitude as well. Um she's in heavy pre malt. I uh, got her the other week from the BTS, from a random um, random dealer, and she's been just been webbing up since. Um, hopefully she'll molt soon, because um, if she does, I'll be able to get her a mature male that I've spotted. So yeah, hopefully she'll molt. Um, she's an unnamed adult female. Yep, fully grown, really small avic, they're not very big. That's all. But yeah, I'm going to leave her be. And move on to the next one. Alright, back in the set people. This is my juvenile female Bavicularia versicolor. Um, she's doing perfectly fine. She is a juve. Um, but confirmed female. Um, I haven't named this one yet either. But I do want my verses as they have a mature male. Well, it was a male when it shot out. Um, but this one's a little bit crazier. Um, very speedy, but all the same as all Avix. Um, the running burst of speed. And she's doing perfectly fine in my care. Um, handled her once or twice, no trouble at all. And yeah, and I picked her up from BTS um, off a foreign breeder. And it is confirmed female. Alright, before she runs away, I'll catch her and put her back in. Alright, back in a sec. Another tea that is waiting in the enclosure. And um, this is my Pashi Palma Bromicola. And this is probably the most expensive tea in my collection. Very rare. Um, seems to be quite calm. It's near adult. Um, Okay, oh, it's something I'll show you next. Um, so yeah, she's doing perfectly fine in my care. I had no trouble at all. I only got this the other day. And she's doing perfectly fine, but she's in pre malt So yeah, pretty calm. Um, very expensive though. Um, can't wait for her to malt to see the colours. Alright, back in a sec. I forgot to mention, I got this from Tartan Tarantulas, and she's unnamed, but she is a suspect female, not confirmed. Alright, back in a sec. This is my Peel Tremarinus sling, and I'm going to be feeding this one because I got it the other day. Um, the Seafoon Baratus, I am going to feed and show you after, because it's stupidly fast. 
Okay, he's hungry. Wants it. Panthro slings are usually good feeders. Come on. So yeah, I'll tell you about it while I'm waiting for it to strike. Um, this is a um, Panther BTS Ultramarinus. Um, one of the more expensive Panthos. Um, well, more, one of them more sought out. So a lot of people seem to want these. And there's an obvious reason. Just Google a picture of an adult. Very nice tarantulas. Um, so yeah, P um, Panther BTS Ultramarinus. Um, got this one from Stainy. And... It's unsexed obviously because it's really small and it's named Orky. Wants it. Really? Definitely wants it. Give me a sec. Just a bit skittish, tis all. And we'll leave it in with it. Um, I'll literally give you an update in a minute if it eats, because I'm going to keep this one next to me until it eats. I'm pretty, pretty confident it will. Alright. Back in a sec. This one, I'm not going to take the lid off, same with a couple of others. Um, all my old worlds are slings, um, and until they get to juvie size, um, I won't be filming them much. Just because they're not really impressive, they don't have the impressive features. Like, this is a C Fimbriatus, uh, unsex unnamed. Um, and it's just a brown sling. As you can see there, just a plain brown sling, nothing like the adults. Um, and same with something like my, um, I might as well do them both now. So yeah, this is my Super Fimbriatus, unsex, unnamed, just chuck a locust in, because it is, uh, that's the first time I'm feeding it, so I'll leave it on B. But as an example, here we have my, what, which one is it? So you can see it's very fast for one. This is my Ceratogyra sandere or the Brachycephalus hobby form. Um, these are horned bird eaters. The slings, they don't really have the horns or any really amazing markings. So that's why I do not show them. So this is my Ceratogyra sandere or Brachycephalus hobby form as I've just mentioned. Um, and that one is unsexed unnamed as well. So yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Um, just that's why I'm not taking the lid off them and not showing them because there's no point. Plus, they are stupidly fast as you saw a minute ago. Alright, I'm going to water this one and I'll be back in a sec. I will show you if the C Fimbriatus or the C Ultramarins eats because I'm going to keep them next to me. Alright, back in a sec. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, I got the C Fimbriatus off Stainy. And the no, the Ultramarinus and Fimbriatus off of Stainy, and the and the C Sandra off an unnamed Facebook dealer. This one I got off an unnamed Facebook dealer. Another one, um, as you can see, it looked like oh, it's something, it's something that's a mad borrower, um, and webs up a lot. Turns out. It's a Haplopus tristatus. Good borrowers, but it's a bit crazy what it's done. Absolutely mad. So yeah, this is unsex unnamed. Um, Haplopus tristatus, aka the lemon patch. You can see at the bottom. Very nice little sling. Not fast at all. Haplopus are between the holophellies and something like... Not too uh, well. They're, they're not nothing like that. They're really, really slow compared. Um, they're just the slow species. Um, not super slow. It's like between Euaphis and um, Holophella, that type of speed. So not fast at all. 
I'm doing perfectly fine this one and I'll leave it be alright back in a sec this is another species that is stupidly fast so I'm not going to mess with it I'm going to water it in a second but it is my um, Holofella Inti um, called Lemon Grab if you know who Lemon Grab is good um, so yeah that's her She's doing perfectly fine in my care, having no trouble with her at all. Um, she's fast, but she's not as crazy as my. Only time I had trouble with her was when I rehoused her, but she was a bit stressed out, so she was a bit of a pain. That's the best you're going to see of her. If you Google Holophila Insis, she looks like any others. Very, very simple. And yeah, very good burrower. Alright, I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one. Yeah, by the way, it's, um, it's pretty, like, 90% sure it's a female. Alright, back in a sec. Keep forgetting to mention, um, I got this one from the spider shop. So, yeah, back in a sec. This is my Holophily Insee Gold, called Abra. And it's called Abra for a reason, because it teleports. Um, not going to open the lid on this one, because this has escaped on me twice. And one time it ran all the way up my back for, oh damn it, I've lost it. This is when it was um, half a centimetre. So it ran up my back, sat on my back, and then I was like, oh, I've lost it. And then I looked down on my knee, and it was sat grooming itself. So it's got a lot of personality, but absolutely crazy. So yeah, that's my Holophila Inti Gold. It just doesn't really have the striping like the Inti. It's just like an overall gold colour. Alright, back in a sec. I've got to mention again where I got it from. The Holophila Inti Gold I got from Tarantula World. Um, so this is my G Pulcripes. Um, I also got this from uh, Tarantula World. Um, somehow, I don't know how it's done it, but it's gained substrate because I only fill it up about halfway. And now it's like three quarters, so I need to take some stubs straight out. Um, it's unnamed, but it is a suspect male because it's unmalted quite a few times in the short amount of time I've had it. So yeah, Chaco Golden Knee. Alright, I'm going to take some substrate out of its enclosure. Alright, back in a sec. That's better, now it's got room to like wander. God knows how it got more substrate. It's probably because it, when it digs, um, I pack substrate down, so when it digs it up, obviously it makes more space. All right, uh, moving to the next one, which is my Tiocti. Um I want to say it's suspect female, um, just because of its growth rate. Um, it's called Peanut because um, when it was younger, when I tried to rehouse it, um, for absolutely no reason, it just did a lap around the enclosure. Just a random lap. So yeah, I'm doing perfectly fine. Suspect females, I've said, and it's a Phryxopelma octi. The Peruvian tree spider, I think, it's called something weird like that. Don't don't pay attention to common names at all because they're pointless. All right, back in a sec. Again, I forgot to mention why I named it. Well, I forgot something. I forgot to name mention I named it Peanut because it did that lap around the enclosure, and it's nutcase, absolute nutcase, crazy little tea. Um, I just thought I'd give an update. The C fimbriatus has actually ate and it's dragging it along slowly. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to leave it on B and I'll show you the next one. The next one is my P species Bolivia. It's freshly malted. I'm going to show you it now because it'll probably run off. Um, I do need to redo the substrate because at one side it has actually got um, substrate mites, as you can see. I'll do that tomorrow though. So yeah, freshly malted Plesa Palma um, species Bolivia. Um, very nice tarantula. Really, really nice. Um, got this, I got this for about a tenner, one malt before this. So cheap for a rare species. I think you're even less than a tenner. 
might be like eight quid or something. It was really cheap. So yeah, it's it's about on the same quickness as um, or speed as where is it? Um, Haplopus species Columbia large. It's about that fast. It's not too quick. Um, it's doing perfectly fine. And um, by the way, the Teocity I think I got from the Tarantula World as well. Yeah, I got them free from Tarantula World and one more, no two. So yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, but this one I got from the Spider Shop. Um, so yeah, Police of Species Bolivia. Um, I want to say suspect female, but it's only multiple ones in my care, just like by the stuffiness of it. Of it. Because they're not a very big tarantula, they don't get absolutely massive, so I'm just thinking it's a female, and I hope it's a female, I really like this species. Alright, I'm going to leave it be, and move on to the next one. I'm not going to water it, because I need to redo its substrate tomorrow, so I'll just water it then. Alright, I'll leave it be. Back in a sec. Um, I'll just mention now, um, if I miss any information about any of my tarantulas, just drop a comment down below, or a message, and I'll answer it. Um... I'm gonna forget one or two things. I know I am. I keep forgetting them and then reminding myself, but I'll probably just forget one or two. Um, so these I'm just gonna do these two quick. Um, unsexed slings, both of them. These are both from the um, from a non um, from an unnamed Facebook dealer. Um, Ceratogyrus marshalli and Ceratogyrus. Oh, I'm saying it wrong. <sighs> I'm saying it wrong and I can't remember the right way to say it. Damn it. I'm just going to say C. So yeah, that one. I'm saying it wrong and there I am. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, and this is my C darling gear. So C Marshall is C darling gear. Um, that one you can actually see is out. And that one is down its burrow. You can just see it there. Yeah, they're both doing fine. No trouble with them at all. Actually behaving. <laughs> All right, so I'm leaving B and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. So this is my hydrogens, Placidums, and um, called Lazaroth. Um, let's see if I can get it to pull out. No. Oh, damn it! I forget the sand in this enclosure. Just. Drops something everywhere, be right. So, yeah, hydrogens, parsidens, um, unsexed adult. Um, got this one as a well, this got given to me as a gift. Um, the three rainbow millipedes, one of a scorpion, and this scorpion I got as a gift from Mystic Spid. Um, if you're watching my channel, you probably know her because she's more famous on YouTube than me, but yeah. I think this one's pregnant, but everyone else who I show it don't doesn't think that. But yeah, I think it's um, pregnant because it's really fat. But yeah, doing perfectly fine in my care. Hydrogens are one of my favourite species of cor scorp scorpion. Scorpion. <laughs> um, I do really like them. But I don't keep a lot of scorpions. I do like scorpions. That's where I started really with the invert um, hobby. Because I don't really count hissing roaches. Started with Emperor, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave this one be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Lassiodora Tibune. Um, I picked this one up from the spider shop at Newark Show. Um, hopefully, it's a female. Um, and as you can see, it is in Primalt. Because I thought last week, why isn't it eating? Now I know why. So yeah, suspect, well, suspect pre-malt. <coughs> it is pre-malt, look at that. Um, so yeah, it's in pre-malt. Um, Lassiodora tibune. It's unsexed and unnamed, but when it malts, I, um, I'll probably name it and I'll try and sex it. So yeah, um, Lassiodora, as I mentioned, one of my favourite genus. And this is one of the, the more uncommon ones. Alright, I'm going to leave it be. And move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I'm going to film this one quick through the lid. Um, and I'll lift it up and I'll show you exactly what it will do. This is Sheer Khan, my Sea Fasciatum. Um, if you know Sheer Khan, it's again. 
respect you for that. Earn this car. That's why. Just skip, um, suspect female sticks to herself really. Um, she's down there now. Webs up quite a bit. Oh, she's there just there. She come back up a bit. So yeah, see fasciatum. Supposedly these are not in the hobby. Um, so because supposedly all C fasciatums or C pentalos. Um, personally, I'm not too confident about that statement. And um, this was sold to me as a C fasciatum, captive bred. All my tarantulas are captive bred, every single one of them. Um, so could be, it could not be. Um, I, it's got sold to me as a C fasciatum, so I keep it as a C fasciatum. That's what I go by, unless someone can give me 110% photographic or like actually prove it. But I doubt that's going to happen. So yeah, she's a C fasciatum to me. Uh, a lot of people might disagree, but everyone has their opinion. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Again, I forgot to mention where I got her from. Shea Khan, uh, my C fasciatum, I got from Blizzard Reptiles, which is my local reptile shop. This is my mature male. Her plopus species is Columbia Large. Um. <clears throat> Sorry about that, camera cut off. Um, this is my Hoplopus species Columbia Large. Um, I got this from Martin Goss at a tarantula show. Um, of mature male. Um, I do have a female, but she needs to molt for me to mate him um, with her because... Um, don't want to mate them and then her, she, her molt because she is in suspect pre molt. So, yeah, mature male, plopus species, uh, uh, plopus species, Columbia Large. Um, I'm gonna water him and leave him be. Um, doing pretty well though, still strong, still eats, so he's still got life left in him. Alright, back in a sec. This is um, Griever, um, my Pandinus cavimanus. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, common name is the Red Claw, um, and this is the other scorpion I got as a present. It's doing perfectly fine in my care. Um, really, really pissy. <laughs> Quite vicious as well. Um, you don't see that too, too often with more scorpions, the more defensive. But this one will actually just randomly go for you. Um, she calmed down a bit, but not too much. I'm doing perfectly fine in my care, um, fully grown, suspect female, and so yeah, I'm great to claw. Alright, I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one, back in a sec. Again, I forgot to mention the Herplopus species Columbia Large is called Amber, because I did think it's a female, but I've just kept the name. Alright, back in a sec. This is my Anemphis Intermedius, or Intermedia. Um, depending if you're using the American or the English term. They're just droplets of water because I've just dripped water around it and it's splashed up, it's not too fussed. So yeah, um, this one I got from Stainy. I forgot to mention the red claw was from Spider Shop and it was bought as a present. Um, so yeah, this one was bought from Stainy. At the time it was the most expensive trench I owned, now it's third. Or fourth, it's third or fourth, depending on where you look for prices. Um, is a it's suspect male. I'm pretty confident it is a male, um, but obviously it's only juve, and I haven't sexed a malt yet, so I could be completely wrong. But I'm pretty confident it is a male. Um, it's doing perfectly fine in my care. No trouble with it really. It's very pissy as it lifts them. Um, if you didn't know, it, um, in Emphis, um lift up their abdomen um, when they're pissed off. They don't really flick hairs unless they're really, really pissed off. And they don't really strike. They just lift up their ab abdomen, very similar to uh, Amphipelmus. They do that as well. So yeah, doing perfectly fine in my care. Um, no trouble really. And I got it from Stainer. Um, I can't remember what I paid for it at the time, so I'm not going to guess. 
I know it's like the third or fourth most expensive tractor I own. Alright, back in a sec. Well, <laughs> it's the third or the fourth. I'll be showing you the third or the fourth other one and the uh, the second because you've seen the first the first was the Pacima Pelma Bromicola because that's worth quite a lot especially if it's female um so yeah back in a sec this is my confirmed cycle stern and pentalore um this is the female um doing perfectly fine my care just tried to go for the tweezers and water droplets um bit of a nutcase yeah, it has got a bit of a small abdomen. Let's go down. Yeah, it's got a bit of a small abdomen, but it will be fed next week. Um, it's doing perfectly fine. I haven't got fed last week, by the way. Anyway, so so just so people know, I think it got fed last week. It'll be fine anyway. Um, so yeah, it's this is my Sacristan and Pentalo. I got it as a sexed pair. You'll be seeing the male in a bit. Um, from Stainy, and it's doing pretty well. I think this is the, yeah, this is the female. It's called Penny, um, and yeah, got it from Stainy, and I've had no trouble with it really. Pretty much similar to my cycle sternum, fasciatum, except it doesn't really burrow really down. It just sits down there while it sits up here. Um, don't really it digs, but don't really burrow. All right, and we'll leave this one be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I'm going to show you the one, this one like this, um, I will fill the water bowl up in a second because the last time, um, well if you watch the feeding video you'll see what I mean <laughs> um, so this is my Cochia bunny peas called Cypher uh, Cochiana, whatever you want to call it um, this is my third or fourth most expensive tarantula and this is a confirmed female um, very very nice tarantula um, I do like my dwarf species and this is quite a rare dwarf species and to make it a female even better. Um, it's quite skittish, but not really, really bad. Don't have too much trouble with it, and it is doing perfectly fine. Um, got it from Stainy again. I seem to get all my higher end tarantulas from Stainy. Well, most of my tarantulas in general. <laughs> so yeah, got this one from Stainy. All right, I'm gonna leave it be and show you the next one. Back in a sec. Damn. I could just look at this tarantula all day and it hadn't even got its full adult colours. Um, by the way, I'll quickly mention, um, I've got, it's actually third, fourth and fifth. The most expensive tarantulas I own are all probably worth about the same. I forgot to mention the other one, which I'll be showing you in a bit. Um, but, yeah. So this is a Petrino Palma Sazime, which is called Sapphire. Um, this is a confirmed female and this is the most I've ever paid for a single tarantula. And she was £95. Which, to like the Americans and Canadians, they're thinking, oh, it doesn't sound like much. In the UK, that's quite a lot for a tarantula. Well, it's about average. About, un yeah, about average. But for this one, it's a steal because I've already been offered, uh, I think, offered 160 and I've been offered 200 for her. Um, and she's not even fully grown, so she's worth a couple of hundred when she's fully grown, but I would never sell her. Because she is easily one of my favourite species of all time. Just look at that. These are going to be the next P Mets. They really are. Because just the colouring and everything. They get around bird eater size because they're um, closely related to your Acanthus scurrier and your Nandus. I think. I know they're close to Nandus. I can't remember the other one. It might be Lassiodora. They are closely related to them. Um, keep them dry. And mine's doing perfectly fine, but one other thing that I will say, these are very fast. For a bird eater, they are very fast. I keep quite a few bird eater species, probably one of each, um, of the more common ones. She is very, very fast. I've never seen a bird eater move as quick as she has, even slings. Well, she's a juvie, but I've never seen one move as fast in my life. They are like lightning proper quick so I dread to think what they're like as fully grown adults but yeah I could talk about this tarantula all day because just look at that absolutely gorgeous but I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one back in a sec by the way second most expensive tarantula and I got this from tarantula world and um, forgot to mention that all right back in a sec um 
just um, so people know, if you haven't seen, you won't see the other video, I will do it um, either later today or tomorrow. It will be out after this video, so you might. This will be the first time you'll hear it. Um, no clue why. Proper, proper good. But my elk A cow code is out female um, has passed away. Um, I can't see any problems with her. Um, I can't see any problems with the enclosure. Um, dry substrate as they should be. Um, seriously, I'm stumped. She's in ICU at the moment, but I know she's long gone. Um, I have no, no clue why. She was fine the other day. Um, she ate the other week. Um, she's captive bred alt female. Um, and I trust where I got it from. It's from Stainy, so I know it's right. Um, so I don't know why she's passed away. Um, she's got no life in her at the moment. Um, bit of a sad bit for the video, but that's why she isn't here. Um, she was called Saber, um, but that's why you won't be seeing her. Um, I will do a video tomorrow um, about her passing away, but um, to cheer myself up, I need to finish this video. Um, I've been filming for about an hour and a half now, maybe a bit longer, um, <clears throat> um, plus editing after this um, will take quite a while, because this is going to be probably my longest video I've done on my channel, so yeah, look forward to that. The Holophilly Sanguiniceps is going to be at the end, because um, I need to film this malt, because he has actually malted, still not mature, so that's a good thing I suppose. But he will be the last T I will well last pet I will film and I'll wrap it up after that. So yeah, just so you know, um, my L A cal code is in is in ICU and she's passed away. Don't know why. She's in ICU just to make sure, but um, I don't think I'm gonna get any more life out of her. Um, honest to cl God, no clue, no absolute clue what what's up with her. So yeah. Back in a sec, people. I need to cheer myself up. Back in a sec. Sorry about that. Um, bit of a downer, but needed to mention it, and I'm completely stumped. Anyway, must go on. So this is my GBB. Um, I got her from the spider shop at a show. I got her roughly around the same time of my. Um, El Kluge, so I've had it quite a while. She's um, one of the one of the teas I've had for quite a long time in my collection. Um, she's called Jezebel. She's a confirmed female, 110. percent I'm sure this is a female. Uh, like 110. percent I know. Um, she's doing perfectly fine. Um, the reason why she's climbing, and the reason why Bee Boma is climbing, is um, they're very close to each other in the tanks, and I think he's been drumming. And, um, well, he's not a mature male, but um, not drumming. Um, I think my Plopus species can be at large, he's been drumming. And also, when my B Bomi seems to be on the side of a tank wandering around, so does my GBB. So I don't understand that fully, but whenever he's climbing, she seems to be climbing. Um, so, yeah, so this is my adult female GBB I got from the spider shop. Um, yeah, really stumped with that one. Completely can't believe it, but... Mm. Alright, so this is my GBB. By the way, she's dog tame. She's absolutely harmless. I wouldn't handle her, just because on the off chance she has a bad day. But generally, she's dog tame. Alright, I'm going to get her back in. <laughs> well, get that down. Alright, back in a sec. This is the last tea I will be feeding in this video. This is um the... It's in the Canthus scurry edge in Hilata, um, juvenile female. She will be hungry, I'm pretty confident about that. What? <laughs> she struck it then, didn't think she, it was food. What the hell? She didn't again. What is she doing? Come on. You can take that. It's not like it's too big. <sighs> Fine, I'll give you a smaller prey item, see if she takes that. Usually, something like that would take that, but I think she's a bit shy. 
So yeah, the Campus Courage Iniculata. Uh, I'll grab another little custom feeder on camera, may as well. Um, got her from Stainy, and she's doing perfectly fine. I only got her the other day. Alright, back in a sec. Just grabbed her a small prey item, see if that was the deal. Nope, she's just being awkward. By the way, the peel trimarinists don't seem to do that yet, but I'll just leave it in with them. Come on. I'm going to leave it in with her. And um, water and leave it be. So yeah, Campus Curry Geniculata. Back in a sec. This is my Nandu Chromatis. I um, got this from Stainy as well. This is the first TA I ever got from him. Um, called Wise. It's a spot like that. If you say it differently, say it differently. I say Wise. Um, she's quite pissy. Uh, very nice tarantula. In general, it is a confirmed female. And she's just striking towards my voice. Doesn't really like me. <laughs> um, she's really weird, but because for a Nandu, um, she likes her substrate wet because she likes to literally um, fill a fill a bowl with substrate, then dig it out, and then place it down. So basically, she wets the substrate inside there, but she doesn't need cleaning out. So I will be changing her substrate as as well as the Placima palma. Um, Species Bolivia, um, and before she gets any closer, I'm gonna put the lid back on. So, yeah, she will get a substrate change just because she likes to make it wet, but it gets a bit out of hand quite quick. Yeah, Nandu Chromatis called Wise Confirmed Female. Alright, back in a sec. This is Blake, my Nandu Colorado Velocis Confirmed Female. It's about Juvis or Badalt. Um, absolute crazy this one. Um, don't know. I don't know if it's something up with it or it's just weird. Um, it seems to like to walk really flat to the ground, but then it walks fine. Then it'll strike randomly. Um, it's just really, really bizarre tarantula. Um, I'll show you an example. Don't want to stress her out. I'm just gonna do it once. That's how she walks. See what I mean? No reason. Very, very pissy, but yeah, she walks really flat like that. Um, she's done this since she malted. I um, don't know if it's been a malting complication or what, but then she walks She walks perfectly fine. She drinks. Her abdomen's not shrunken. Um, she eats every so often. Um, so yeah, a really bizarre one. So Nandu Colorado Velocis called Blake, confirmed female. And they got this, and um, this is the first tarantula I ever got from Tarantula World. And it was a trade for my mature male versicolor i traded him her, um, for her which i'm quite happy about she's a nice tarantula just a bit weird all right i'll leave her be and move on to the next one back in a sec this is my baby he is just my baby he always will be um this is mark my brachypelma bomi he was my first ever tarantula and i hold him quite close to my heart um, because he was my first tarantula, obviously. Um, he's a bit skittish, not too, too bad. Let me see if I can get him down so I can show him better. Come on, down, Mark. Come on, good lad. He's not too bad. He likes to cooperate every so often. Come on. Get back down. Come on. Come on, cooperate. I said you did every so often, and you're not gonna. <laughs> yeah, Brachypelma bomi. Um, immature male, he's probably one malt off of it. And I'll be sad to let him go. Well, I'll, probably, I'll be honest with you, I probably won't let him go. I'll probably just keep him. Even when he matures, I might even buy a female. It's just, I don't want to get rid of him, he's my little man. <laughs> he's not so little, he's a good size. Very, very big for a bomi immature male, to my knowledge. Alright, I'm going to leave him be. And move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I forgot to mention Mark I got from L&D Exotics, which is another reptile shop I go to. I got my June Scorpion from them as well. Alright, back in a sec. This is my suspect male, um, P. Fomictopus conceritis, um, called Nightmare, because he used to be a little bugger. I think he's in pre malt that's why he's calmed down a bit. Um, Femictopus conservatives is one of my favourite tarantulas of all time. Um, 
and this looker is no exception, he's absolutely awesome, it is a suspect male, um, just for his growth rate, and I think I sexed him as a male, I cannot remember, I think I did, um, can't remember, anyway, um, I got this one from the spider shop, and he's been doing perfectly fine, he's in, he's, these get absolutely massive, like I mean a stupid size for a mature male, like I saw immature males at a show, and my god, they are huge. <laughs> I was asking if they had any females, and they went, they're all males, which I was shocked about because they were that big. Alright, I'm going to leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my um, Pamphobetius Fortis male called Logan. Get it? The female's Phoenix. The male's Logan, if you get that. Again, good. Um, he's lost most of his pinkish highlights. He might get when he molts again. But he, he is freshly molted, so it might go. He might get them every so often, but at the moment he hasn't got them. He didn't molt um, the other week, and he ain't got them anymore. But he might get them back. But you never know. Still got a tiny bit round his eyes, but mm, not much. So yeah, um, I got him from Martin Goss um, as a grown-on sling, and well, no, technically was a jewel. And since then, he's been growing like a weed. He's um, probably tripled in size, and I've had him probably maybe double tripled. Um, I've had him for about coming up to a year, so about nine months, <laughs> which is crazy. He's grown so much, but he's really nice. Um, not really vicious or anything. Very good eater. And yeah, that's him. So yeah, that's my um, Pamphobetius fortis male. And I do have a mature female that I showed you earlier. Alright, back in a sec. So the little black dot is the abdomen of my um, police... I can't remember the name. Pseudohoplopus species Kazar. But I know for a fact this is Pseudohoplopus um, species short hair. So yeah, a little black speck there is a tarantula. God knows how, but it is. Um, it's taking an absolute mick to malt. Um, I've had this a month, two months or something, and it's eight quite a bit. And still no malt, so hopefully this is a female going <laughs> proper on a guess there. But yeah, I hope it's a female. As you can see, it's walking about absolutely tiny. So yeah, hopefully it will be a female. Alright, I'm going to leave this one be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Yeah, see Police Palmer, Species Cazar, um, or Species Short Hair. And I got this from a spy, the Spider Shop. Alright, back in a sec. This is one of my two Grammar Solar Grocer um, slings. Um, I'll show you the other one quick on as well. So that's one. Both unsexed and unnamed. And this is the other one, just there. So yeah, they're both unsexed slings. Um, surprisingly, they're only like uh, second malt. So that's third instar to me and you. No, first instar. No, I think the second malt. No, the third malt. Can't remember. They're either the one where they can eat or the one after they can eat. I can't remember. Uh, can't think. I lost my thoughts because of obvious reasons. What I mentioned earlier in the video. But yeah, Grandma Stoll are grosser. And they're both doing perfectly fine. Alright, back in a sec. This is my Canvas Scurrier A Truck sling, unsexed and unnamed. And I got this one from Stainy. Um, and I thought this one was small, then the Pseudohoplopus came. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is, I think it's molded once or twice in my care. I um, can't remember. Maybe even, it might have not even molded once, I cannot remember off the top of my head. It hasn't molded once, so I'm going to say suspect female with a long shot. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave this one be and move on to the next one. I've got one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 more left to go, and I've been doing this for about 2 hours now. Alright, back in a sec. 
Another tea that needs its substrate changing. <laughs> Femictopus species violet. No, Femictopus conceritis violet. Uh, it's basically a big violet P. conceritis, um, unsexed and unnamed. Um, may as well do the other three slings that I've left. Quick, um, I got that from Tarantula World. Um, that one I got from Stainy, and uh, well, I'll show you this one. Next one I got from Stainy. She my grandma stole Anthracina. Uh, that needs to changing all three of these do. Um, yeah, grandma stole Anthracina. I um, got one from Stainy. It's unsexed and unnamed. And this is my Cryopodromus Puriscal, which I got from the spider shop, and that's just unsexed and unnamed. And this one needs a clean out as well. Alright, so I'm going to leave all these free B. Um, free unsexed and unnamed slings. So we've got Femictopus conceritis violet, Gramasola anthracina, and Cryopodromus Puriscal. Alright, back in a sec. This is the C Pentalore male, um, called Leonard. Um, Leonard, Leonard, idiot. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, he's an immature male. Um, did molt, and I thought he was going to mature out, but he didn't. So he's a decent sized male. <coughs> he's doing perfectly fine in my care, and yeah, I'm going to leave him be. I might as well show you another one quick. This one and there's another one needs a substrate changing. Um, there's a few that I need to do, um, but I've written them all down and I'll do them tomorrow. So, this is a Lassiodora Stratipes. Um, little Juve, doing perfectly fine. So, yeah, uh, unsexed and unnamed. Alright, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one, which will be my scorpion and I will feed it on camera. Alright, back in a sec. So this is Prees, don't ask about the name, Luf and it's Luforius Deforius, Luforius Deforius, species Grease, and it is a captive bred scorpion. Usually it always eats on camera, I will be upgrading into a bigger tank just because um, I've got some cork bark so I can make him a nice little hide. Um, we're about the same size and then I've got a big one when he molts, but it's just it'll be deeper and I'll be able to make it look a lot better. Plus he needs his substrate changing, so I'm just going to change him into a different enclosure. Alright, he'll grab it in his... Oh, he's grabbed it. <laughs> Alright, we'll leave him be and move on to the next one. So we have four left today, we'll have five. Alright, back in a sec. The other rare tarantula that I was on about before was actually this one. Um, this is even the third, fourth or fifth most expensive tarantula. I get for a bargain. <laughs> This is Vulgrim, my Sparboffrey Hoff Manny. Another one of my favourite tarantulas of all time. Um, the central horned bird eater. You can see that it's only got a small horn at the moment. It's like a greyish colour. So yeah. Um, bought him from... Got him from Martin Goss. Um, I forgot to mention, I got the Lufus Deforius from Stainy. Um, the Sea Pentola from Stainy. And the L Stratopedes from Stainy. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I mentioned all the others. Alright, I'm going to water him and leave him be. A little juvenile male. Alright, back in a sec. This is my Femictopus. Um, by the way, the Sparbosher of Man is a suspect male. This is also a suspect male. It's a Femictopus Platus. Got this from Martin Goss as well. Um, and this one's called Havoc, um, it's a Femictus Platter, so I've just said, um, doing perfectly fine, growing quite quick, and I've actually handled this one, which sounds crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll do the next one quick, or I'll do the next two, because one of them you're not even going to see. Um, one of them, oh, it's actually out, I'm not going to take the lid off, but I will feed it in a bit. Alipes Grandis. Oh, I'm going to try and feed it quick. Alright, give me a second. Uh, I'm going to try and get it quick while it's out. So you can see its tail. I'm going to start So yeah, it has netting on it just in case. So it doesn't escape. 
yeah, that's the end of it. That's an Alapis Grandis. It's been fun, it's water ball. It's not really a vicious scorpion species, a scorpion. Centipede, it was my f it is my first ever centipede. Um, it's not really vicious or anything. It's just skittish if anything. I'm going to feed it on camera quick. Try to do this all one handed because I didn't know it was actually out. Let's see if it actually attacks on camera. <laughs> nope. Just runs away. So, yeah, I've got two more teas to show you. Um, this is my first ever centipede, Alpes Grandis, and I got it from Lula's Reptiles. Um, don't know what sex it is at all. So, yeah, I'm just going to water it. And move on to the well, second last tea. All right, back in a sec. We'll put the lid on before she tries to escape. Um, this is my Uafa species yellow, adult female, um, absolute dog tame, lovely little tea. And I'm going to show you the last one very quick because I'm in a rush now. Um, hello, um, by the way, I got that one from Stainy. This one I got from Virginia Cheeseman, and it's a Holofelli Sanguiniceps. And it's very fast. I'm not going to take the lid off. Stoof that. If you want to see this better, I'll try to take the lid off in the malt video. I'm trying to get off of it. So there you go. Freshly malted, well, not fresh, it's malted the other day. Immature male, hopefully sanguiniceps called Atlas, and the Uafa species yellow is called Sparky. So, yeah, um, hopefully you have enjoyed that. Um, it took me absolutely ages to film. Bit of sad news in the middle, but it's picked up because I've seen I do like all my teas. So yeah, um, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Um, this is gonna take me ages to edit, so hopefully people will enjoy it, and it will be my longest video to date. So that was a tour of every um, every animal I own. All right, um, hopefully I haven't missed anything. If I've missed anything, <clears throat> just comment below and I'll answer it. I can't. I don't think I've forgot anything. All right, some of it, people. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Bye.